This is Top Accolade African News. I am Abiodun Mohamed. President Felix Tshishikidi has instructed the army chief to establish recruitment centers across the country in response to Rwandan aggression. A reference to claims that Kigali is militarily supporting the March 23 movement, M23 rebel movement in DR Congo's eastern North Kivu province. Tshishikidi made the remarks in a national address on Thursday. He said he was responding to the appeal by the Congolese youth, who in quotes have been expressing their desire to protect the territorial integrity against threats by some neighboring countries. He urged them to organize themselves into vigilance groups to support the army. The president added that diplomatic efforts to ease tensions with Rwanda had failed. He repeatedly accused Rwanda of backing the M23 rebels who have been involved in a series of clashes with the Congolese army since May. Pilots at Kenya's national airline, Kenya Airways, will embark on strike this Saturday, union officials have announced. The action comes days after the expiry of a two-week strike notice issued by the pilots' union, who are demanded that the airline resumes contributions to their retirement fund. The Kenya Airline Pilot Association Kaupa says their members will not report for duty at the Jumbo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi from Saturday. It is the largest airport in the country and the fourth busiest in Africa. The union's 14-day strike notice expired on Wednesday, but operations at the airline remained uninterrupted on Thursday. Two Kenya airport workers and a police officer have won praise after returning a bag carrying about $19,000 and other valuables to a British tourist. The tourist was in a group that had just returned from a safari at Maasai Mara Game Reserve when he lost the bag at Wilson Airport in the capital, Nairobi. The airport workers and policewoman found the bag and screened it for explosives before the owner was contacted. He said he had carried the substantial amount to facilitate his group's movement and comfort. The airport's security supervisor, Joseph Kabangi, told the local Citizen TV that integrity is a core value among staff at the airport. Twelve Tunisian policemen have been jailed for two years over the death of a football fan. 19-year-old Omar Labidi drowned in a stream in 2018 while trying to escape as the police chased a group of fans to the edge of the stream. Labidi is reported to have screamed that he could not swim before jumping into the water to escape the police. Labidi's dead body was found the following day. Witnesses say they had heard officers shout at him, in quote, you just have to learn how to swim, which has since become a rallying cry on social media with the hashtag Apprentice Anaga used by people seeking justice for police abuses. The victim's family has said they will appeal against the sentence, calling the conviction for manslaughter a charade of justice. That is the size of Top Accolade African News. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Weekend!